Joining us now, Lindsey Graham. No, not the South Carolina senator, but Lindsey is the, the patriot Barbie in one of uh, mom's fight for life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Been uh, all about what's going on with the masks in our society right now. Lindsey, welcome in. Thanks for being with me. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm I'm great. Thanks for being here. So, uh, yeah, here we go again, it seems. Mask up, and boy, the passion on both sides of that issue is higher and more feverish than ever before. Uh, your thoughts on what's going on with this mask issue as we see some of the schools in our area now switching gears and requiring students and staff to put the masks on where they really stood against it for a while. Restaurants, I mean, they uh, have been battling this back and forth and business owners saying, stop putting the restrictions on me. So, Lindsay, the state of the state when it comes to all this in your mind. Well, it's it's ridiculous that this is even something that's dividing us. It's it's completely natural and normal to have your own opinion and uh, belief about one side or the other. I believe that masks work. I want to wear one. I want to protect myself. I don't believe masks work. I'm not wearing one. I have the right to not wear one. This is not something that the government needs to be involved in. This is not something that school board members should be voting on. This is not something that business owners should be expecting expected to enforce. We have law enforcement, don't we, all over America? There's a reason law enforcement isn't involved in this, because it's not a law. And it, no matter how you believe, the government needs to stay out of it and let people make their own decisions for their health. This is not a controversial topic. That's not a controversial statement. The choices that I make to protect myself are completely my own. And I've done that for the last 18 months, and my family has been completely healthy. And we do not need the government involved in these kind of things, putting their nose into private businesses, deciding what they can and can't mandate at their own leisure. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. I got the vaccine, and if somebody asks me about the vaccine, I'll say, look, I talked to my doctor, and based on what I feel for me from the medical experts, I've decided, you know, I'm better off with the vaccine than I am trying to battle through COVID. I had it. I don't want it again. It, it was pretty brutal on me. And, uh, but I, once again, don't want the government telling me that, hey, you've got to get this, you've got to do that. Forget about it. But I, I talked to Democrats and, uh, you know, they, they're like, you know, maybe we do need the government to tell us what to do since there's so many idiots out there, you know, that won't make the right decisions. You know, please. I mean, the the, the push from the left on this is outrageous, but I'm going to play devil's advocate with you. Let me talk to you about what the medical professionals, for the most part, are saying about the vaccine and the masks, that they do make an impact, whether it be a 1%, 10%, 20% impact with wearing a mask as far as helping protect, and the vaccines, for the most part, medical professionals say it does make a difference. You should get the vaccine. So when a medical professional step up, to me, that's not politicians stepping up and saying do it. Medical professionals are giving their opinion, just like you said, we all have them. And I think based on that, we should all make our own decisions. But the the, the push from the medical side, your, your thoughts on what's coming there? Because I get emails all the time. Well, here's a doctor that says completely the opposite, JT. You need to listen to this guy. Okay, well, from that perspective, you know, thank you for your information. Is it accurate? I don't know. From, from the medical professional, is it accurate? I don't know. Are you being fed by your administrators only the facts and only the science that the government wants your administrators to feed you, which will, of course, um, enforce and uphold their belief that, oh, this is a pandemic and people are dying by busloads every day, which is, we all know now is not true. Secondly, we all know now that the medical field is it's financially <laughs> motivated. The hospitals are getting paid more money for COVID patients. They're getting paid more money if that COVID patient's on a ventilator. They're getting paid for beds that are occupied by people who test positive for COVID. So when you come forward to me and say, get this vaccine, and, and it's free. So who's paying for that, by the way? Get right. this vaccine. It's, it's the best thing for you. Uh, how do I know that you don't have an ulterior motive? Because something that's being handed out to me for free is not free. Someone is paying for it. I have a, a good premonition that it's my children's children's children that are going to be taxed for years and years on this. But when you're giving it to me for free and you're running commercials about it on the radio and the TV day after day after day, what is the motivation? If it protected me that much, I would get it. If it was that amazing, you wouldn't need to tell me that every five seconds of every day on every platform. 
Dr. Fauci wouldn't be sitting down with celebrities and making propaganda videos, okay? If there was a vaccine that was so amazing, we were seeing widespread that people's lives were being saved every day from a .01 surviving virus. I think that most Americans would run out and get it after it's been tested. Come on now. Uh, right, no problem, because yeah. we are And I do think, you know, relatively suffering. speaking, that, uh, you know, we're, we're still learning about this particular strain of COVID and uh, the intensity of it here. And uh, the doctors will stay, say, you know, from time and time again, we just don't know yet. We don't have enough time invested in it to see what long-term effects are of the vaccine, of the virus, of a lot of different things when it comes to this. But you're right. Governments, stay out of it. I'll make my own decisions based on my discussion with my own medical team. Thank you so much, Lindsey Graham. 